Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 43 to 44. You guys know the rules while the blurs are going up and you guys can always support me if you guys want on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you all for joining me today. No need to bother with extending your greetings to me. Just enjoy yourself. So, so I'm guessing that's a queen? Oh. Right now, I'm at the ball hosted by Her Highness, the Crown Princess. Oh, that's a princess. She looks a lot older there with the Grand Duke. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 43. A few days earlier. It's so awkwardly silent. The mood is rather glum today as well. Uh, by the way, I hear you are going to the Crown Princess party. The housekeeper told me. Oh, uh, uh, it's not decided yet. The party hosted by the crown princess, that would surely be a ball. Then Theo should join you there. Uh, uh, yes, mother. Well, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> so that's what happened. I didn't think the Grand Duke would agree to accompany me so easily. Because of the nature of our marriage, I doubt he feels at ease coming to a party at the palace. Uh, so children can come too? Uh, I wonder if Selfie has ever been to a party. After that day, Selfie seemed down for a while, but thankfully he's back to his usual self. He still spends time with Esleti as her playmate. Let's go to the garden when you get back from school. Again? Y y your Grace. Uh, it's an honor to be in your presence. We weren't expecting you. And you brought your beautiful wife as well. Uh oh, a cold look. <laughs> oh, ignore. Uh, right. I almost forgot that is his usual demeanor. Oh. Um. Perhaps it wouldn't be so terrible to greet them back. Being around him like this can get pretty awkward. All right. Really? He seems to listen to her now, and he never, I don't think I ever recall him ever like huffing, puffing, like, stay your lane, girl, you know? But he seems to respond back to her, which is new. I feel like that's new. Oh. Uh, I didn't think we'll do any dancing. Besides, We've never practiced dancing together. I doubt he'd be a good dancer. Uh, I'll just imitate the others. Um, I'll follow your I'll follow your lead then. This is giving me so much hope. Oh, they look so cute together. Oh. Oh, my goodness. He was serious. He's just imitating the moves. He's so stiff. He knows the basics, but his steps are rather stiff. Oh, his every move is disciplined. I guess it's because he's a soldier. Well, this is new. <laughs> He's not used to coming to social gatherings, 
but he went as far as to dance with me. He must really feel guilty. But not that long ago, I wasn't even expecting any of this to happen. <laughs> You're a good dancer. Oh, I practiced. Oh, I see. My, my, what a rare sight. I didn't think I'll ever see you dance, Theodore. Your Highness. I see the rumors were not false. You do seem to have become a devoted husband. I sincerely hope this marriage will last longer than your last one. Ugh. And how timely. I've actually been meaning to see you. As you well know, my palace is very spacious. Your wife would not be bored, I assured you. There is plenty here that would keep her entertained. May I? It would be my pleasure, Your Highness. I'll see you after my tour of the place. Now, shall we? Dear Dio? Uh. Uh, her eyes. Oh, oh. Huh? She's gonna get extremely jealous and cuckoo. The newly appointed high treasurer, Count Trellin. Oh, I certainly do know him. He's a rather bo boisterous fellow. Boisterous. Is that how you say that? Hold on, guys. That's a really unique word. I never, I know, boast or boys? What is boys, boys, ter, boys? How do you pronounce that? Boisterous. Boisterous. It is of a person, event, or behavior. No, noisy, energetic, and cheerful, and rowdy. Okay. Boisterous. Boisterous. Boisterous fellow. And now that he's an imperial official, he's only gotten worse. I hear he tries rather hard to earn the fourth princess's favor. I guess the crown princess and the other princess different? Or is that the same one? I don't remember. Who's the one who has a crush on Theodiel? Right. It seems he, she helped him land the position. Someone in his family has ties to her. You don't say. But you should remind your words in a place like this. What if he hears of this? He would certainly cause quite the commotions. He doesn't seem to have come to the party, but... Oh. We did send you an invitation, but we didn't think you would actually come. My wife seemed to be very happy that you came, though. I look forward to seeing you more often. So is a guy or a girl? He's such a beauty. Of course, your highness. Oh, it's a guy. Wow. Okay. Noted. I couldn't tell because like the way they did the hair with the accessory, I was like, girl or boy? Cause I've never really seen a guy have hair accessories like that. Uh, the palace is so big. This tour is taking forever. My feet hurt. <laughs> your Grace. Uh, oh, y your Highness. Uh, go on ahead. We're pretty much finished with our tour anyway. If you need anything, go to the easternmost balcony. My servants will be there. Thank you for her, your kindness, your Highness. Huh? Huh? Lady Berjati, your grace! We've been waiting for you. Oh, please drop the formalities when it's just us. Okay. Oh, my in-laws are obsessed with me. You are beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, episode 44. 
I came to the party to interact with the other nobles, but I also arranged my by letter to meet my friends here because they said they'll be coming too. It's so difficult to see them these days. I'm glad I could see them all here today. <laughs> Perishadi, I read the proposal you sent. Hmm. To be honest, I don't think it's realistic. Your uncle probably didn't tell you this because he wished to honor his brother's will. You wouldn't expect to see any profit, of course. But as you know, uh, as you well know, the palace doesn't support such projects. The acquisition of development rights in Schwartz would receive a lot of imperial support, but welfare projects are heavily regulated. They all say it's better to buy mining rights with that money instead. That's why everyone is dead set on forming connections with the imperial family. If you, a grand duchess, were to pursue such a project, the imperial family might think you're turning your back on them. Hmm. But if you still want to go on with this, perhaps an auction would do. An auction? Auction? Oh, right. The Duchess also donating profits from auctions. Indeed. Hmm. Thank you. I'll give it some thought. <laughs> oh. I just saw you with the Crown Prince. But what about your husband? He's taking... He's talking with the Crown Princess. Oh. So that's why. Did you see how people reacted when you entered the Grand Duke with the with the Grand Duke? <gasps> they were too scared to even start a conversation with you. Actually, we were too. <laughs> we'll better give up on seeing Prayer Jody tonight. Oh. Well, I only wanted to tell her how proud I was of her. And you know. <laughs> You two make such a beautiful couple. Uh -huh. So I didn't think we'll be able to talk to you. Besides, you were surrounded by so many people. Pardon me. Oh. <gasps> Adeus Potsen? Adeus. Oh. Huh. Do you know each other? Oh. He did me a favor a while back. He is very knowledgeable about events abroad. I didn't think he'd be acquainted with one of my friends. I spotted someone I knew and dropped by for a chat, but I didn't expect to see you here, Your Grace. It's been a while. It's been a while? He helped me out with something a while back. <laughs> Please continue with your story. I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, it was just business. Oh, maybe he'd give you some advice about that thing. Huh? Oh, it's fine. I am in his debt already and must pay him back. Actually, I want to see you in regard to that. Pay me back. Really? So how did he help you? But you never wrote back. Hmm. If you put it that way, <laughs> I'd like to hear how you and his grace met. Well, that was unexpected. But why would he ask such a thing? We want to know too. It was simply love at first sight. Oh, the cliches. We met over matters related to my father's inheritance and he said I had the most perfect face. Oh, stop picturing weird things. Oh. <laughs> But please be more specific. Where did you meet and how? Uh -huh. He looks like he'd be taking notes if he had any paper. Uh, why is it being so inquisitive? Inquisitive? <laughs> please excuse me, Your Grace. His Grace has asked for you. Okay. Well, why is he pestering on and asking questions about their relationship? 
I think either, of course, he's curious about it, but he's might be reporting what he finds out to someone, you know? And Parashati should really work with, you know, their deal of how they met because people will ask, people will want to know. And of course, they won't know that they're going to divorce like later on, you know? So they should have had a solid love story that they both can recite without like messing it up and people find out it's not true you know like there's, there's a contractual marriage kind of deal you know like they don't want to say that right now but all right it's getting interesting if you guys enjoyed the way i read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up support my patreon if you guys want to and i'll catch you guys next time bye